Welcome back to another episode of Two Hungry Diners with me Oni and Peter filming behind the camera. We are still in Mornington Peninsula and if last week we have covered some of the best top attraction you need to visit in Mornington Peninsula and in this episode we are going to cover food, wine, breweries, breweries, wineries, anything, any spot we can find something to eat, something to drink. This is food and wine edition of Mornington Peninsula. And here we are, the first spot. This is the Point Leo Estate. This is a winery and you can find some seriously good wines in here. I think we have mentioned this estate before in our previous video for the sculpture park. But right now we are going to cover the winery and we are going to have lunch in here. Look at this beautiful view of this estate guys. We are going to order some foods from the wine terrace of this point Leo estate. We are seated of course in the, on the outdoor dining area and this is more like a casual type of restaurants or cafe brunch kind of thing and but if you are into like more formal dining you can also book online and sit it at the like an indoor restaurants i got myself a glass of rosé let's try the rosé mm. this is really nice rosé mm. So make sure you guys you need to check out one of the wineries in Mornington Peninsula because they are so popular. The food has arrived, I've ordered this fish burger and look at guys, it's getting crowded here, it's lunch time and they also have live music every afternoon. <sighs> this is live. <laughs> anyway, let's try the fish burger. The bun looks like a, like a fried bun to be honest, look at this. <laughs> A bit oily, but let, let's have the first bite. Mm. This is delicious. Mm. From Ben the menu, I can see um, they put coriander, chili, which I can really taste. This is a good one. Mm. They also put a bread sprout, which is not common for a burger. Mm. Mm. I like the patty. It's tasty. Also, I want to mention about the wine. This is uh, like a wine and food pairing. So, for the fish burger, they recommend to have this with the rosé. If you are looking for some dessert place to visit in Mornington Peninsula, this is the place to go. And especially if you love strawberries. This is the Sunny Ridge Strawberry Farm, which we have covered in the previous video when we do the uh, pick your own strawberries. Yes, they have a cafe. Well, what we order today is the strawberry waffle and uh, of course strawberry milkshake. Let's try this out. By the way, this is a, a Belgian waffle. The waffle itself is already a bit sweet, but with the strawberry, I think it's a perfect combo so it has a touch of sourness from the strawberry but overall this is good if you have a sweet tooth guys if you're not into waffles you can also choose other selections like the strawberry cousin and also the strawberry scones and you can have it with coffee and tea as well which is very nice for brunch I'm gonna try Peter's milkshake <laughs> You know, I'm a little bit disappointed because they use strawberry syrup. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Look at this, this is syrup. But I'm not sure if this is syrup, strawberry syrup that they produce in this form. But overall, good one. I think good for kids. <laughs> they will love it. The next stop is Red Hill Brewery in Red Hill, which serves some amazing craft beers. We also here to grab some lunch. We have the testing pedal here, so we have like four uh, samples of beer, the craft beer. So this one is the Pilsner 5.2%. It's really nice. <laughs> Not a beer expert, but I can taste a little bit of sweetness from the beer. Really nice, really nice. I really enjoy this one. So this one here is the East Coast Session IPA. 5.5%. This one is really good guys. Uh, quite refreshing, quite fruity and aromatic as well. Mm. 
These two here are actually the Christmas special. The first one is Christmas Haze with White Spice IPA. Mmm. Yeah, really fruity. Can taste a little bit of orange hint on it. Really nice again. This one here is the Christmas Ale. Yeah, definitely the fruitiest amongst um, the four of them. Oh, by the way, guys, they are also really popular with the food. So we ordered the pork ribs here for me, the 400 grams. So with the slaw and the pickles as well. And for Oni, this is the Reuben Burger. Uh, beef patty with uh, pastrami and potato chips. Oh, it's really good, guys. I mean, the meat is just falling off the bone. It's really tender. Um, the sauce on top is also really, really tasty, really flavorful. Wow. The meat is just... Wow. It's like... I don't know, like the marinade they use, it's like really penetrate deeply into the meat and you can taste like every single bite of it. It's really flavorful. It's really tasty. The Reuben burger which Oni ordered was okay, although unfortunately the beef patty was a bit dry. We are in Sorrento, it's like a beach area here in Mornington Peninsula and one of the things that you have to do in here is to get a slice of vanilla slice. If you don't know what vanilla slice is, it's it's very Australian type of dessert. We have covered this vanilla slice before in our Australian sweets video. But if you're going to Sorrento, make sure you get this vanilla slice from the vanilla slice cafe. We have got one vanilla slice from the cafe and we are going to eat it by the beach, on the beach right there. Yeah, let's follow me. We have found a good spot to eat our vanilla slice by the beach. If you are not familiar what vanilla slice is, basically it's like a sandwich of pastry and in the middle is the vanilla custard. And usually you can add a little bit of topping like icing sugar at the top. I heard this place, the, that cafe where we get this vanilla slice, they put a little bit of strawberry jam at the bottom. The custard is it's really good. It's yummy. You can taste the egg as well from the custard. It's really smooth in texture. Uh, the, a little bit of letdown is the puff pastry. It's a little bit soggy. Maybe because we, we were trying to find a good spot and it's been sitting on the back for quite a while. Uh, but overall, the taste is just as good as I remember. And the first time I was made aware that such thing as vanilla slice, Australian vanilla slice is from this place in Sorrento, the Vanilla Slice Cafe. Alright guys, we are at Fish Fetish here um, in Sorrento. This is another popular um, restaurant. You have to visit here. It's a fish and chip restaurant. It's extremely packed, extremely crowded. But we've got our order here. It's number 39. It's gonna take maybe around 10-15 minutes. So what we order is the baramandi, the fried baramandi, uh, 10 onion rings, uh, 2 potato cakes, and medium chips, along with the tata sauce. Yeah, this is maybe around $30, I think, for this whole pack. There are a lot of menus that you can order, a lot of different fish as well. You can get it fried, um, grilled as well. Let me try the chips first. Mmm. I don't know if you can hear the crunches. It's good, it's like crunchy. But the main attraction is the fish, obviously. It's, it looks really nice. I mean, the butter is not too, too thick and the fish is quite, quite chunky as well. So, cheers, guys. Mm. It's good, it's really good. I mean, the fish is um, nice and fresh. 
it's tender, it's juicy, they kind of like deep fry it perfectly. Uh, the butter is crunchy, just enough seasoning. Uh, and yeah, not much that I can complain. I mean, this one is look really nice and I really like it. Okay, let me try the potato cakes and also the onion ring. Both are really, really crunchy. I really like it guys I mean the place is busy for a reason and I think this is a good fish and chips another day another winery to visit in Mornington Peninsula we are here at Fidrus estate or winery and look at this guys <laughs> another wine glass of wine to enjoy this beautiful view of the winery here at Fidrus Estate. This is the uh, 2019 Mr. Wolf Sauvignon Blanc. It's got a uh, honeydew, gooseberry, and lemongrass aroma. This one has got the clean dry finish. Let's have a taste. Oh, really nice, really, really nice. Okay, previously we also did the wine testing which is free and if you come a little bit earlier you can also order a cheese platter which only costs you $20 a plate yeah so you can also enjoy like us like on the deck enjoy a glass of wine you can also purchase a bottle or two wines which we also did we got this um, peanut noir Chardonnay. <laughs> hope I pronounce it correctly again this is the same pain uh, I think this one $45 a bottle we test this during the wine testing before really really nice champagne <laughs> We are at St. Andrew Beach Brewery. Look at this place, guys. This is like a beer heaven. The place is really amazing. It's really over the top. The decor is on point. Spacious area. And we've ordered the tasting paddleboard. So for craft um, St. Andrew uh, Beach beer, starting from the Lager, Pilsner, the Golden Ale, and the Pale Ale. They recommended to drink it uh, from the Lager to Pilsner to Golden Ale and the Pale Ale. Yeah. Cheers! Oh, that's the Lager. That's quite nice. Quite fruity as well. That's all I can say for the, as much as I know the beer. It's really nice. Let's try the Pilsner now. I think this is like kind of uh, our favorite beer for the both of us. Really light, not too malty. I'm pretty sure you're gonna like it as well. Golden Ale stronger, more malty, more fizzy, more hop something. Okay, let's try the pale ale now. So definitely the strongest, the most bitter, more ma masculine kind of beer. But I really like these three, I think, the Lager, the Pilsner, and the Golden Ale, my favorite. I highly recommend you guys to visit this brewery, even if you are not into beers. You can grab some food, you can grab some pizzas, but if you are like, a um, want to try something different then the testing pedal is definitely for you and I really love this place unfortunately we don't we, we cannot spend too much time in here but otherwise this is probably the place I want to go if I visit Mornington this is like beer heaven all right guys we are at Merchant Lane on Main Street here in Mornington this is like a pub style uh, restaurant and for every single day they have a special today is Monday so the theme for the night is Parma Monday Parma we have ordered two different Parma here this is like $14 $30.90 it's really cheap okay I ordered the mac and cheese uh, Parma which is loaded with mac and cheese on top The chicken system is not bad at all. It's really tender, it's juicy. The mac and cheese also is really tasty and cheesy as well at the same time. So, I don't know, like for $14, I don't know how they make money, but this is a really good value. I'm super excited 
to eat my uh, chicken schnitzel because this is the Asian ramen chicken schnitzel. Look at the spicy yeah. ramen here. Oh. <laughs> it's quite legit, right? Yeah. I mean, this is, it looks so exciting already. Wow, it's spicy, man. I think they use Sri Racha chili sauce and wow, it's quite intense. I mean, it's it's legit. It's legit spicy ramen noodles. And it's delicious as well, topped with mozzarella cheese. Exciting flavor. Well, I also have a surprise here. Ta da! I ordered the Mama Chow's chicken parma and I also ordered a matching like a cocktail. Uh, this one is Mama Chow's mocktails, which is with uh, mango and passion fruit flavors. And also with the popping pole, complete with the <laughs> boba straw. I love the popping balls. Mm. So good. Mm. Good dinner, good choice, Peter, for <laughs> picking this place. <laughs> wine, beers, and spirit tours in Mornington Peninsula. This is the Red Hill Estate and we are doing the wine testing right now. They have a three different options of a set of wines you can choose and we choose the Mayumi. Okay, the first one here is the Prosecco. This is an Italian recipe. The staff say that the owner is Italian, originally from Prosecco in Italy. This is an authentic recipe from Prosecco in Italy. Cheers! Oh, nice! So fruity, complex fruits, yeah. flavors. Yes, they said not too many bubbles, which is nice. Oh, wow, I really, really like this. Wow. They also do a, the food and wine testing, like matching uh, with food and wine, but it's not available today because the restaurant is closed, unfortunately. The second one is the 2016 Celador Riris Sauvignon Blanc. And this is slowly aged for two years in old French barrel and it's really good for seafood platter because it's got a hint of zesty lime. Okay, this is the third one. Oh, it's like a workout for me because I'm not used to drink wine a lot. <laughs> this is the Pinot Noir Rosé. Nice rosé. Not bad. It's, it's yeah. not bad, not bad. The next one is the Pinot Noir, uh, which is the red wine, and this is apparently their flagship wine. It has a perfect balance of fruit and secondary elements, which is not described. I can definitely taste like the complexity of this wine. Definitely fruity, but there are like other elements on top of that fruitiness. This is another one. This one is 2017 heat coat. Shiresh. It has a lot of um, combinations of cranberry, cloves, floral, and first herbs aromas. This is quite light in my opinion. Alright guys, this is the last of our wine tasting for today. This is the cordon cut uh, Pinot Grigio. It's like a flowery, it's fruity kind of aroma. Sweet. Really sweet. And yeah, I can taste like the pear, the honey, a little bit of jasmine as well. It's not too strong, but you can still taste the, um, the hint of jasmine flower in there. Like it. I like it a lot, guys. If you've ever visited Red Hill Estate, just do the wine tasting. Even better with the food, I think. But unfortunately, as Oni mentioned today, there is no food tasting but highly recommend. The estate is really beautiful. Highly recommend Red Hill Estate. Cheers, guys. Well, guys, that's the end of our food, beer, spirit, and wine uh, tour in Mornington Peninsula. We absolutely love um, the experience here. There are a lot of things you can do in terms of food and wine tasting and also beer tasting here and yeah we absolutely love our time here hope you guys like it and if you guys like it don't forget to give a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel because it will help our channel to grow and yeah we bought 
Prosecco from the Red Hill Estate, uh, which we really love from the wine tasting. And the last one is the dessert one, which is the um, Gordon Cut uh, Pinot Giugio. Um, yeah, this is like a dessert wine, so this is for us. <laughs> Hopefully you guys get a chance to visit Mornington Peninsula, always support locals, um, especially after the COVID-19. Any comment, leave them down below. We're more than happy to answer them. Stay hungry. Bye.